Hi, yeah, this is just a quick video on changing the um, anti friction pads which are on the AKS 1300 from Alco. Um, what I will be changing are these two of these which are in place in the end, um, and purely the ends are just here. So, this one I've already done, has changed, um, and all that it's normally held in. With these split pins here, so just a screwdriver can ping those off. Um, I haven't put a new split pin on yet, but literally, you just push out. You can put a split pin there and there. Now, sometimes, before you take this off, the tightening clamp here might be too tight to release. Um, I've learned that you can use a 13 mil socket, place it in here, so it hits the black. And then if you hit it really hard with a hammer, it releases the, um, the turn in here and then you can actually get to the split pin to remove that. Now it does recommend, I think on the instructions, that to get enough leverage for the socket to work there, you have to put it on the tow ball. So you have to put it on your car and then you'll get that off. It worked a treat fine. So I managed to get, release this um, for that purpose. Um, on this side, I haven't changed this one yet, but I've taken the split pin out. You see just the bit there, you just literally push it in, use a screwdriver, push it out, and you see the old the old one there. Now you can use wet and dry sandpaper and spray fluid and clean up the old ones if you wish. I mean those aren't too bad to be fair, but I'll change them. You can see the makeup of the, uh, the different washers there. Just make sure they get back on the new ones in the same order. Um, so literally let's do that. Push that back in there. Like that, and then um, I'll just place that split pin on the end there. Uh, one recommendation is put a white sheet down because these are tiny, tiny little things, they will fling off. But they do give you some spare when you buy the new pads. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Thank you very much. Cheers.